Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. So today I will try to discuss about that how you can easily run the Google Earth Engine platform using Python API. So mainly we can use the Python API for Google Earth Engine platform using the different types of IDE. If you want, you can use the Google Colab. If you want, you can also use the Jupyter Notebook. And when you want to get the Jupyter Notebook, you have to install the Anaconda distribution. So today, this is our first lesson. In this lesson, I also try to show you that how you can easily use the Anaconda distribution and then use the Google Earth Engine platform using GEE map. Python package. Okay, so let's go over to this class. So, first of all, I can simply open a browser and then search here Anaconda distribution. Simply search in Google. So, here I can get the first link you can see anaconda.com. So, just I simply click on here Anaconda distribution. Here I can get all of the information about that. Here you can see Anaconda distribution. You can simply download in click to the download. So now it will be downloaded. You can see here I already downloaded this part. So in this time I simply skip this part. Okay. So after downloading this Anaconda distribution, you can simply install. After install uh, installation, you can simply uh, open the Anaconda prompt. So here you can see you can get the Anaconda prompt after installation. So just I simply click on the Anaconda prompt. Here you can see uh, a new window will be opened. So here you can see this is the Anaconda distribution. So mainly in this time, in here I can first of all I try to show you that how you can easily install the GE Map package for Google Earth Engine platform. Okay. So if you want to check what is the Python version of you can use in here, so just you can simply write in here Python. You can see here I can use the Python version is that 3.9.12. So this is the Python version I used. So in this time, I want to show you that how you can easily install the GE map package for interactive map with Art Engine platform. So in this time, I use here the Conda. So first of all, I need to create the Conda GE Python. This environment I need to create. So for that I can simply write Conda create in GE Python. So in this time what happened? In this time it created the Conda environment for GEE. Okay. So here you can see uh, I can simply press Y and then press on the enter so now in this time it installed all of the conda environment okay but in this time it's showing that i already install it in here but if you don't install it that then it will be showing the it will be showing the all of the things and then you can easily install the conda environment so in this time this environment is already installed it in my system So it takes some time to installing. Okay, so okay, you can see. Okay, so it's done. Okay. okay, so now you can see in this time it's showing that it installed all of the conda environment 
so in this time i just need to active this environment so for activation i can simply write the conda active okay then press enter so now uh, this conda ge is active okay Okay, just I also try to again write the code. Conda create in e e Python. Okay. So now I simply conda. Activate. Okay, so now it successfully activated. And how you can easily understand about that it is activated or not? You can see here it showing the in here E E E. It means that your Panda G E E Python is activated. Okay, so in this time in G E E under the G E, I just simply installed the DEE map python package from the conda force okay so for that i can simply uh use here the conda install conda 4g After that, simply press on the enter. So now you can see it's collecting all of the GEE map Python package. All of the metadata, all of the package metadata now is collecting. And then after that, it will be installed in my system for the GEE map Python package. okay so now it can see it will be just collecting the metadata and also solving the environment for the map python package and i also give you all of the details code which i write in here i also send you in our whatsapp group or telegram group as well as also i will add all of the things in the video description so from this video description you can easily install the python ge map package on your system and you can easily use it okay and further if you have any uh, issue about the installation you can just contact with me i hope you can easily get the solution from me So it uh, takes some time for installing because uh, all of the GE map Python package is now installed in your system and it's only need for the first time okay but uh, when you want to use the next uh, few uh, ne next time you uh, there is a no need to install the GE map package again so it's only need for the first time when you want to use the GE map Python package first time I install it and next time I can simply open the Jupyter notebook and active the uh, GE map conda, then it will be easily okay. So I can see it showing that done. Okay, so 
there you can see all of the python gmap package is now we can see in here okay a lot of packages in the python gmap so in this time i need to install it all of the packages okay so for the installation i can simply press y and click to the enter so now you can see all of the packages is installed at the same time okay so now you can see it will be working for preferring all of the data set all of the packages in gmap and uh, this time is only for the first time you need to install it but when you want to use the next time uh, you did not uh, you don't need to install it because it already installed in your system so first time we need to install it carefully then we can easily use this package okay okay so now you can see uh it's showing that done okay so now i can easily uh, open the jupyter notebook in my system and then i can easily so I can easily i can 
So now I can simply open the Jupyter notebook. So for that, I can simply uh, use at the Jupyter. Write the Jupyter notebook and just press the enter. So now I can see uh, it automatically open the Jupyter notebook in my browser. So now I can easily write the Google Earth engine, uh, all of the code. I can easily use the Jupyter notebook. And I can easily write the Python all of the Jupyter notebook. So now I can see this is a Jupyter notebook user interface. So you can see uh, you can easily create on your folder. Also, you can go to your uh, folder uh, direction. I can simply create a folder in the desktop. So just I simply click on the desktop. So I can simply press on the you can see the new. I want to create a new folder on the desktop. Just simply press on the folder. It will be showing the you can see untitled folder. Okay. Just simply press on here. I can simply put the rename it. So just I simply put the rename it such as first class. Okay. Then I can simply rename it. So now you can see it will be showing the result in here first class. Okay. Just I simply open this first class. Here I can get there is the no notebook file is there is a no notebook file is available in here. So in this time I create the file. So just for that click on the new and you can see Python free. I simply click on here. So now it will be created the one python file in here in this file i can just simply uh, write all of the python packages in here so in this time it's showing that untitled if you i can simply put the name so i can simply put the notebook name as a suppose first class okay then rename it okay so now you can see i can simply uh write my code so here i already installed the ge map package okay uh, from the conda 4g so in this time i can simply import it the g map package in here so for that i simply write the import g map okay and when i press the run simply you can see you can press the run in here or press the control and enter together it will be also run okay so if there is the any problem is suppose when you want to install it that uh, it will be not properly installed it then i can get must error in here so in this time you can see i did not get any error it means that my ge map python package is successfully installed in my system so now i can easily use this ge map package and integrate with google Earth engine platform for using this using the python api so for that i can simply create a new cell when you can click i can see plus sign insert a new cell in here i want to display the map in here so for that i simply create an object such as variable name i can simply put suppose i put the variable name is the m and use at the g uh, g e f okay in this time when i click on the enter in this time i need to make the so i simply take the another suppose i simply put the another variable name such as g e map dot map okay and then simply press the run okay i need to use the parenthesis and it also uppercase so now i have to work so in this time first of first time i need to i need to connect with the integrate with the google earth engine platform so in this time you can see there is nothing happened so for that in this time i can simply press the m and then click the run again okay so now i can see it uh, already connected with my google earth engine so now it display the map in here so i can get the result you can see this map okay so now i can easily uh showing the different types of google earth engine data catalog different types of analysis in here so basically uh today's class i will also try to show you that how you can easily install the anaconda distribution and how you can easily use the anaconda distribution for connecting the ge map python package and how you can easily display the result and for the ne next class we also try to discuss about the different types of analysis with the google earth engine platform for python package ge map python package and how you can easily use it so different types of analysis next time we also try to show you that in this uh series so i also try to make the series of the python api package so I hope you can easily learn all of the things step by step and all of the material, all of the practice code I will provide in my WhatsApp group as well as the Telegram group. 
okay so you can also join this whatsapp group and also join this telegram group so i hope you can easily get all of the material from this whatsapp group and telegram group okay so today is no more so next day uh, we will try to discuss about another topic so till happy and stay safe okay so thank you